Good morning everybody and happy Tuesday. Uh, welcome back to your second day of home learning this week. Um, so I hope you enjoyed all of yesterday's activities and I hope you enjoyed getting back to your home learning um, after the half term. I know I really enjoyed seeing everything that you got up to. Uh, so these are your activities for today. So activity number one. So um, for the next few weeks, we are going to be focusing on a number of the week. OK, and this is going to start today. So the first number that we are going to learn is all about the number one. OK, so I have recorded a, another video um, of a lesson all about the number one. So I want you to watch that video to start with. Um, in the video, there are lots of activities um, for you to complete. So I want you to watch and follow the video and complete the activities as you go. Um, when you've finished watching, I want you to see if you can practice writing the number one on paper. So use a writing tool, a pen or a pencil or a crayon or whatever you've got or chalk, um, whatever you've got and practice writing the number one. See how many number ones you can make on your paper. Um, once you have done that, I have found um, a number blocks video for you to watch. So when we're learning our numbers at school, when we're when we're actually at school in nursery, we use number blocks to help us to learn. So um, on the team's assignment, I've popped the link to the YouTube video there. Um, so you can watch that after to help you learn a little bit more all about the number one. OK, so that's your first activity today. Um, we are moving on in our topic, um, as our topic this term is all about changes and why things change, we are going to be looking at texture today, so all about how things feel. Okay, so the, uh, the second activity for you to do today is I want you to go on a texture hunt. Okay, so look around your house and see if you can find all of these different textures. So a texture is how things feel. OK, so you're going to have to do lots of feeling with your hands to see if you can find all these textures. If you don't know what they are, then your grown up can help you. OK, um, you can make a tick list if you want to, to see which ones you manage to find and which ones you don't. If you can't find any of these things, can you think of anything that might feel like that? So if you can't find anything that is sticky, can you think of anything that might feel sticky? That You don't have to be able to feel it, but can you think of anything that might feel like that? Um, did you manage to find them all? Um, how many did you not find? And what was your favourite texture? Which one was your favourite and why? Can you think of a reason why? So it might be that, um, let me have a look, soft is your favourite texture because that is what your favourite cuddly toy feels like. Um, it might be that sticky is your favourite texture because that's your favourite food might be sticky. Um, so you can choose your favourite and why for activity number two. So activity number three um, is a texture sensory bag. Okay, so this is still moving on from texture. Um, so I want you to use some of the different objects objects that you found on your texture hunt. Okay, so that was the last the activity number two. Um, you'll need roughly around eight to ten objects. So choose ones that um, will fit inside a bag and then place them inside a bag. Then I want you to put your hand inside and pick an object. Okay, use words to describe what the object feels like and see if the other person can guess what you are describing. OK, so don't say what it is or don't pull it out of the bag until the other person has guessed. So it might be your grown up that's guessing or your brother or sister. Um, once they've had a guess, you can reveal what it is in your hand and see if they got it correct. OK, so for example, I'm going to give you an example. If you've put a spoon, a wooden spoon inside your bag, you're going to pop your hand inside. You're going to feel around. You're going to pick up the spoon. You're going to say this object is very hard. And it also feels quite smooth. OK, and then the other person can try and guess what you're talking about. If they get it right, then brilliant. If they don't, then they can try and guess again. OK, so then take it in turns and see if until um, you've gone through all of the objects in the bag. So somebody else might then try and describe an object for you uh, to guess and see if you can get it right. So it's learning all different words. Um, to describe different textures and different feelings. OK, so that's all of your activities for today. I hope you enjoy all of them and some different ones for you to be getting on with. I look forward to seeing what you will get up to. 
Um, and remember, send me any photos or videos um, if you do manage to get any when you're completing the activities. Um, so I hope you'll have a great day. Um, and remember, tomorrow is screen break day. Um, so there won't be any activities for you to complete. But you need to go and have a look at your um, screen break grid um, and complete some activities together as a family, choosing some activities off that grid. Um, and I'll be back with you on Thursday for some more um, home learning activities. So have a great few days and I will see you all on Thursday. Bye bye.